I'm very excited to share something that I recently found out that Google was about to release, and it is the ability to add interactive questions to YouTube videos in your Google Classroom. So let's take a look at how this works. I'm in a pre-made Google Classroom, and I'm going to go to Classwork and add an assignment. And I'm going to click to add a YouTube video. So, so far, there's nothing new. Let's put a title in before we do that. So I'll click on YouTube, and I'm going to search for a video. And of course, I can preview any of the videos that I want, but I already know I like this one, so I'm going to click it. And now here's where it starts to get a little different than what you're accustomed to so far. At this point, if I just want to add my video in the old way of adding videos in assignments in Google Classroom, I would just hit Add Video, but I have this option now, which is Add Questions. So I'm going to click that. And I can certainly preview my video at this point and play it and listen to it and find the various spots where I want to add my questions. In the interest of copyright, I am not going to be playing the video very much in this tutorial. The first thing you're going to see is this text area right here at zero, zero in your video. And this is not a question, but rather it's instructional text for the students. So this will be the first thing they see. So we put this in before we add our questions in the video. Here it's basically just to let them know that they need to answer questions as they watch the video. So I'm going to do a very brief description. This probably isn't the one I would do if I were doing it for my actual class. Answer questions as you watch. It's going to be right there. Now at this point I'm ready to add my question. I can go through my video. So this is a spot where I've decided I want to answer a question. Now, I've got some of my questions on an outside document, pre-written, so I can just copy and paste them. Right here, I'm going to hit Add, and it logs me at right at the spot where my video is, and I'm going to add my first question. So I'm going to paste this from the document. Of course, you could just type this in if you like. And now I'm going to put in some rejoinders. So this is going to be based on a percentage. So I'll put a few rejoinders. And I've got my first question. Now, I'm going to do this incorrectly first to show you what happens. And then I'll, I'll show you what I did wrong as we go along. So I'm going to go to the next spot where I want to do my next question, probably somewhere around here. And you'll see that because I didn't do my first question properly, I got these alerts. So. How do I fix these alerts? Well, you just click right here on the question. So anytime you see this red exclamation point like this, you're, you're getting an alert. It means something was wrong with your entry. And what I did wrong this time, there's a few things you could do wrong, but in my case, I did not designate a correct answer. It needs that. Uh, just keep that in mind if that happens to you as you're working. You see that little alert sign. You know you can just click on the question and fix whatever it is that was wrong. Now I can proceed. And I will add my second question here. Again, it logs it right where I am. I'm going to paste my pre-written question. And I'll add rejoinders. I'll type this one. And we can do an all of the above. Great. Now, if I wanted to, I could shuffle the order. Uh, however, that doesn't really work when you have an all of the above and I'm going to move on. Let me talk about this top right corner for a minute. One thing that I did wrong the first thing I tried, first time I tried this, was that I actually tried to click attach after adding a question. What I learned is that attach is to be saved till the end. So when you're done with all of your questions, you click attach. Don't do this after one question because it's very difficult to get back in and edit these. Now before I move on, let me add my correct answer. And at any given time, before you click attach, remember that's the last thing we do, you can preview this as a student. So I'm going to click preview. And this is what it looks like. So you can see the instructions will be here for them. And it shows that I have two multiple choice questions. 
course, I could certainly add more, but I'm keeping it simple for the tutorial. And then when I get started, hi, I'm Clint Smith. I would be watching the video. And again, I'm trying to skip over sections of the video. And I can get directly to the question here and answer it. And when I hit submit, now I'm going to go to the next one and I'm going to answer it incorrectly, just so you see what that looks like. And I'll hit submit. And it shows, I, it won't let me go on until I get the correct answer. So I'm going to, it's asking me to try another answer. And again, it's, I got it wrong again. So you can see that you can't go on until you get it right. Of course, then this will take me to continue the video. The story went created by the auto industry. And that's pretty much the way the whole thing works. I'll click attach to finalize it. So you can see it just goes into here. And of course, now this is just a regular assignment. Like most new Google feature releases, it doesn't have a lot of things. And I get the impression they'll be adding some things as we go along. A couple of things I would like to see is the ability to do open-ended questions. Of course, the teacher would have to grade them. At this point, this is just sort of an automatic move forward. As far as I can see, I don't see a way that it logs student answers. And another thing I'd like to see it do is I'd like to be able to uh, get a log of how far the student watched the video. In addition, I'd like to force them to have to watch the video to the end. So far, I don't see that option. But anyway, this is a great release, great for flipping your classroom, great for any kind of practice and uh, getting students a little more engaged in an otherwise static video.